Who's hungry? Chef Ken Hall is here uh, with a great appetizer to yes. make when you have guests. So coming over for the holidays. Absolutely. Right? How are you? I'm doing well. What's you? new, Ken? There's a lot going on. Yeah, we did a story a few weeks ago about the Oneida Casino and five new restaurants, and you're helping. You're part of that. I'm the executive chef, um, and I'm doing the the recipes, the menus. We're getting it open. We're working with the different franchise, working with uh, the Oneida Nation to get these things open. Wow. It's going to be early spring. It's exciting. Five restaurants. Five That's restaurants. That's a lot of work. Thank you for taking time out Absolutely. to help us out with this recipe. And this is a spinach artichoke dip. Correct. With a twist, with a Chef Ken Hall twist. Well, of course. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So it what I've got started, so good in here. what I've got started over here is I, I put three strips of bacon chopped up mm -hmm. and a half an onion in there. Okay. And I so you can imagine at home how it smells in here. <laughs> bacon and onion in there. Mm. Oh come on! How can you go wrong? How long did you say? Um, about five minutes. Okay. All you want to do is just render the bacon and then add the onions. Got and it. then I've got a half a can of artichoke carts. You just, chopped it up a little. Just chopped it up a little okay. bit. Okay. And we're going to add that into there. You want me to start mixing yes. it around? Yep, you've got. Okay. And then once those start to get hot, the bacon's already cooked, the onions are already cooked. So you're just warming it up at this right. point. Okay. So now we add our wine. I'm putting a little Chardonnay in here. Mm. Could you use a Sauvignon Blanc? Yes, you could. <laughs> Smarty pants. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> All right, now once we got that in there, what I'm going to do is Even I've got now. I've got uh, half cheese. a cup of cream cheese, okay. and we're going to add that in there. And what we want to do is just kind of break that up okay. and stir it around, oh, and no. that will give us our base. Now there's pressure. Well, here I'll hide it for you. <laughs> so now I've got a pound of fresh spinach, and all I did Ooh. was just roughly chop it. Okay. So I don't like using frozen spinach in mine because it's too watery and you lose a lot of the, the fresh flavor. Okay. So I go the opposite and I do the fresh. A pound a, of fresh spinach. Yeah, because okay. this will wilt down to about a cup. Is my cream cheese still going to melt in there now that you did that? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, it's coming together. And while you're, while you're stirring that, what okay. I do is I always get a small baguette of some kind. This is a honey whole wheat. Yeah, that's fancy. Baguette. And what you want to do is you just want to cut nice crostinis, you know, maybe about a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, some people say slices. Ken says crostinis. <laughs> well, they're crostinis because what we're going to do is we'll put them on a sheet pan, drizzle them with a little olive oil, some salt and pepper, bake them oh. in the oven. So you get nice crispy ones here. I'm you know, instead you. of a instead of a cracker, I like to to put the bread out there. I think it's a nicer touch. When you, you could have do company. crackers, right? If Absolutely. You're, if, if you're short on time and you have a box handy. Okay. Absolutely. Look at this. How did I do? Did I do okay? You did fantastic. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. And oh my the, gosh, that Parmesan boy, it changes that. Changes the, the dynamics yeah, a little really bit. Really does. Then we're going to put a little pepper in here. Okay. Is this something that gets baked, or is it just like this? It's just like this. Everything oh. in there is cooked, so it's it's the alternative to that baked one that you know, as it cools down, it, it doesn't look as appealing as it does when it goes in fresh. I mean, I love a good baked dip. I'm not seriously. Look at how colorful that is. Okay, I'll right. let you take over and finish so, it up. Now what we're gonna do? This would be perfect. Let's say if you had ladies coming over for book club. Hmm. I wonder who has that oh. happening. <laughs> But this is your, your fresh alternative, and if okay. you wanted to, you could um, put some sun-dried tomatoes in there. I gotta take a quick little bite. You could go ahead and chop up some asparagus in there. Mm-hmm. Are you going to finish that off? Yep. Um, seriously. At least you keep me honest. <laughs> hey, why are you over here? Come take a bite. Uh, that's all right. I'll wait. <laughs> this recipe is online. Fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. Chef Ken will be back next hour with a chocolatey dessert. That's right. We'll be right back.